Hello everyone, this is Savage Sun here, and this is like the 20th time I've tried to do this. So, in order to make this a short tutorial, I'm just going to be making the XML today. So, I'm going to start with a dark elf dot XML. The extension has to be XML. And uh, if you notice, I am already working out of the custom directory in the racist plugin. So, we're going to go ahead and edit this real fast. And we are going to start with the CFG. I'm not going to be explaining these, just know that they are required. Okie dokie here. Uh, Alright, so we're going to start with the race tags. The race tags are pretty simple. They've got a few parameters here. We have name, which is the name of the race, uh, with special characters. You cannot have special characters in the file name, including spaces, so please don't even try, otherwise you will get errors. Um, You'll also notice that there is the color parameter here, and that's just the color of your race tag. You can find a list of available colors on the bucket page, and I'll give a link for that in the description. Uh, special, if you set it to true, uh, will allow only players that have the permission races.isspecial to use the alters of this race. But I'm going to set it to false because I want this to be a public race where anybody can use the alters. So we're going to uh, add a few levels in here real fast in between the race tags. And you'll notice that these also have a few parameters. Uh, ID defines the race level uh, minus 1. So say you want your level to be 1, you would put the ID 0. So this is level 1 here, even though the ID says 0. I know it's a little weird, but that's just how the plugin works right now. Uh, I don't recommend starting with any other level besides zero, it's just not a good idea. I have not actually tested it, but I imagine it would generate a few errors. Um, Alright, so you'll notice that I have set the ID here to one, and ID here to two, so that means this would be level two, and this would be level three. You also notice that I have set exp equals negative one. Um, I set it to negative one to define this as the last level of the race. Races will not allow any player using an alter to go past this level. It'll just tell them that you are already the maximum level of this race. So in between level tags, you can use the power tag and the get tags. Uh, these are just self-contained, so you don't need to worry about anything going in between them, but there are a few parameters. For the power tag, we have name and perm. Perm is the permission of the uh, power. Uh, so I'm just going to set it to essentials.fireball here and then we'll give it the name Fireball. So anybody who is a part of level 1 Dark Elves will have the essentials.fireball power and permission to use it. And in the git uh, tag we will have type equals amnt equals and display equals. Uh, type can only equal mob kill uh, there we go, player kill or time and each one is self-explanatory to what it does, and it will give the AMNT amount of experience. So in this case, it would give the, any player who is a level 1 Dark Elf 5 experience for every mob they kill. And we will set display to true. If display is set to true, it will tell them they have gained experience, and if it's set to false, it will, it will not tell them they have gained experience. So in the interest of time, I'm just going to go ahead and take these and copy and paste them in between. Uh, these other levels here. Okay, so for level uh, one here, let's change this to essentials dot kitty cannon, and we will give it the name kitty cannon. And I'll put a space in there. Okay, and we'll say we just wanted to get player kills here, and we'll give them the amount fifteen because players are harder to kill, and we'll set display to true. So if they're level uh, 2 now, they'll need 50 experience to level up from this level and the permission, or they will get the power essentials.kittycannon and give them the permission as well. And to get experience, they need to kill players and they'll get 15 experience and they will be told that they have gained experience. So for this last one, just in the interest of showing you that you can have more than one power for every level, we will also give them essentials.kittycannon. So for this level, they will have both kitty cannon and fireball powers. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, and we'll also just for this, just for the sake of example, give them the get type time. Um, all right, so here we go. 
we now have to, for the last half of this, create the altar tag, which just defines some basic things about altars. So we have the message parameter here, which is the message they receive uh, when they have successfully changed races to this race. So I'm just going to say, you have become a dark elf. And then we also have the parameter warp, x, y, z, and w. Uh, these all just define um, where you want someone to warp when they use slash races home, or if you have it set in the config that when they die, they will return to their race home. This is where you define the race home. Uh, it will only work if you have warp set to true, otherwise it will say you have no uh, race home when they try to do this. And I'm just going to set it to false because I really don't want anybody to be warping around in this race. So we're in between the uh, alter tags. We're going to have the blocks tag. And the blocks tag has one parameter, and it's radii, which is the radius. I don't know why I say radii, but that's just how it is right now. And uh, I'm going to set it to 3 because that's a good solid number. Um, if you have it set to higher numbers, expect lag. And you're really checking too far if you've got it to set, like, 15 or something. Because remember that it is the radius, not the diameter. Okay, so it's, uh, this is a little hard to explain, so I'm just going to go ahead and type out a few blocks here with um, different parameters here. Amounts equals 1. Uh, block ID equals 5. Click equals 3 equals false amount equals 5. There we go. Alright, so notice that this is the only one that has click equal true. Uh, you can have different blocks set uh, to click equal true, just remember that you don't really want to use something extremely common because then every time someone right clicks that block it will be registered as an alter use for this race. So because this is click equal true and the radius is set to 3, every time someone clicks a, I believe this is an emerald block here, Every time someone right-clicks an emerald block, since click is set to true, it will search a radius of three blocks around it for all the blocks defined here. So in this case, it's checking for itself, or, well, just one of itself, really, right now. It's checking for five stone blocks, and it's checking for five wooden blocks. That's about all there is for the blocks tag. And last but not least, we have the items tag. These are really simple. There's actually no parameter for the items tag itself, but in between the items tag, we have item. And item has ID and amount. And uh, ID is just the ID of the uh, item you want the player to have. And then amount is just the amount that you want to give them. And these items are the items that are used as sacrifice for the altar. So they need these items in their inventory uh, to use the altar. And when they do successfully use the altar, these will be taken out of their inventory. All right, well, now we have a fully formed races XML. And, um, and for the sake of time, I am not going to be showing this in action. Just know that this works perfectly, and this is like the 30th time I've done this. So if you do have any questions, check the bucket uh, repository, check the pages and everything. And if you have any questions, feel free to post on there. I check pretty often, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for using the races plugin, and have a good day.